It's still in Bogos where those people, Bokos, we are in Jos, where those people came to attack those poor people. If you remember the video again, where they were pulling a child from behind his dead mother and his dead folks, you understand? So this is where, where it happened. Now, let me tell you what's funny. Bring the camera down. This is tin. This is tin. These are minerals. Look at it on the ground. These are minerals. So it is pretty obvious. See them, see them, come. It is pretty obvious that these people are being killed by the, because of the richness of their land. Can you imagine they had to burn down the place? Come. Come. See, start from here. They had to burn down the place. See these houses? Everything burnt down. We came into this village. There's literally nobody in the village. Like, literally nobody. They had to run away from their own land. From the place where they were born, where their grandparents lived. Do you understand? Can you imagine minerals on the ground? See, minerals on the ground. Minerals on the ground. I mean, this land is rich. Why are they doing this? I don't know. It is obvious, but we act as if I don't know for political reasons. But please, please, Nigerian government, please. Now, I'll take you to where the children are. The children that are being affected. Those people that they killed, their children. I will take you to the IDP camp where they are. If you see them, then let's not even talk about the ones that are in the hospital without hands and legs. Because of insecurity in Nigeria or because of greed. What we all can enjoy in Nigeria. We have a lot of minerals in Nigeria that we all can enjoy. We are not supposed to be poor in this country. Dubai get only oil, sell Dubai day. We, have, we are rich in here. Look at this land, plain land. Turn this camera. Look at the land. Raise it up. Look at this land. Plain land. See? See? Plain. Beautiful land. With raw minerals on the ground. But yes, Nigerians, we are still suffering. We are still poor. Because of the greed of the people that are supposed to protect us and take care of us. Because of the government. So, basically, somebody was trapped in this car. Somebody was trapped in this car and was born. Now, these things... Where that guy did? Where did he this? Which bone? Oh, man. Human being bone. <laughs> what I'm holding now, according to this guy that was here, I feel put your face. I don't feel show your face now. I just show only your body. So, according to this guy, he's saying, I'm waiting. Bones. Bones. Human being bone. Yes. So, this is the car. The person was. And as you can see, this is somebody. This is a human being bone. It's a bone of somebody. <laughs> but this is very dark man, and I'm out here in just Bokos um, local government, yeah? Bokos, where the attack happened. So there was an attack on these people. Everybody that you are seeing here, they are not just, they are not random people. These are like people affected by the attacks that happened on the 24th. It happened on the 24th, 25th, and on the 26th. So a lot of them didn't have the opportunity to do Christmas because of this attack. And what is funny is that I've done a little bit of investigation. I walked around. Some of them are staying here. And then some of them are staying in this town. Town, let me see the zinc houses. Um, this place and then beyond. Now, um, so what's going on is, first of all, this is a very big community. How many community, how many community was affected? About 28 communities, am I right? About 28 communities were affected where a lot of houses were burnt. These are like normal people that they go about their day, they make the Irish potatoes that you eat, they send it from here and send it all the way to Abuja. You understand? For you people to eat and you enjoy your life. Do you understand? Now, with these people affected, a lot of things that you see in Nigeria cannot be. Alright, so this is another community that was burnt down. Apparently, this one is even bigger than the last one where we were. Follow me. Show the house. See livestock. Livestock are being left, abandoned by their owners. Come. See all these places. See people who are. See their animals. See generator. Bonds. This place is bigger. Now, let me tell you what's funny. From the last place we were, to this place it's like we drove for like 35 minutes on a normal low driving speed now come apparently this whole thing happened in a day they attacked different places in a day they are life stops without people to care for them come 
Sir? I need to run so you won't make a egg bag go go over for one side. Abandoned everything. Abandoned. One day attack. They started this attack on the 24th, 25th, and 26th. The first day, they attacked multiple places. Like I said, the former distance to this place is over 35 minutes, and they attacked them one day. Meaning, the people that were involved in this attack were up to like maybe 500. They attacked the whole community. Plateau State has been making headlines since gunmen killed over 150 persons on Christmas Eve in coordinated attack on 17 communities in Bugos, Manki, Bladi, and Mogus local government areas of the state. The assaultant also razzed about 221 houses, rendering over 10,000 people in communities displaced. Meanwhile, the Special Military Task Force in Plateau State, Operation Safe Heaven, has debunked reports that its commander was arrested in connection with the Christmas Eve attacks. It was alleged that the commander of Sector 5 of the task force, Manning Booker's local government area of Plateau State, was apprehended for his alleged involvement in the deadly attacks. But in a statement on Wednesday, the spokesman for the military task force, Captain Oya James, dismissed the report as untrue saying that it was designed to save the selfish interest of its purveyors. He assured the people that the dedication and commitment of their troops remained unwavering in assuring the safety and security of the affected communities. He said, Operation Safe Heaven wishes to categorically dismiss and denounce as false and misleading the current publication on an online news platform alleging the arrest of the commander of Sector 5 located in Bugos local government area of Plateau State. Plateau State for his involvement in the recent attacks on communities in Bugos. Bugos, Manki, Ladi, and Mango local government areas. The report is not only baseless, but is also a deliberate attempt to malign the reputation of our gallant troops and undermine the effort of Operation Safe Heaven, intended to bring those responsible for their reprehensible acts to justice. Operation Safe Heaven, a multi agency security initiative, has been steadfastly addressing the recurring security challenges on the plateau and its environment. The dedication and commitment of our troops remain unwavering. You have prayer in points as well. Everyone knows, knows what my prayer point is now. Every day I pray. I'm, I've been nominated for so three grams. So everybody knows what I pray for every, every day I wake up. <laughs> arresting his colleague. Soldier with the sofa day and night. I'm only the peace soldiers. I hear they, 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 they now shoot, they shoot where I did that last copper hand. You, you just come from, you don't take your drug, you, they call yourself governor. They misbehave up and down. Who the fucking hell are you, governor? So who the fucking hell are you? Who are you? This ain't not me, you go jam that day. I know go, you, 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 you are calling me useless. I will useless you there. Almighty. Don't you kuwarka. Don't you kuwarka. Yeah, yeah, my budget. I don't need governor's own. You are mad. Calling a soldier useless. Serving, serving you. And if you want to do your dirty work, we call soldiers. You are mad. You are mad. And all of you with the comment rubbish, you are, you are stupid. Go check Ojo Road. Ojo Road. Ojo Road good. Ojo Road good. Come see Ozula. Everything costs.
You have prayer points as well. Everybody knows knows what my prayer point is now. Every day I pray. I'm I've been nominated for three Grammys. So everybody knows what I pray for every every day I wake up. <laughs>